Hi friends, it's summer and it's time for your slow word, Lexio Divina. It's time to slow down your heartbeat. It's time to slow down your agenda and leave room, create space in order to hear the word in a fresh way. So today we're in Luke 5 verses 4 through 11. Go ahead and take a couple deep breaths or whatever it is that you do in order to cultivate a space of stillness in order to receive the word. Lord Jesus Christ, today we open our hands for manna. We open our hands for the bread that you are always sending for the word that will become bread for us. And even more so, we open our hands for you, the bread of life. We're hungry for your word. We're hungry for your presence. Open up our spiritual eyes in awareness to your presence always with us. And again, we ask, speak, Lord for your servants are listening. So I'm gonna read this particular passage three different times, and this first time for familiarity. The second time I'm gonna slow it way down so that we have time to sit and let those words sink into us. And when he had finished speaking, Jesus said to Simon, put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we toiled all night and took nothing. But at your word, I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a large number of fish and their nets were breaking. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, depart from me for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. And when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything and followed him. So 
So this time when you listen, listen for a word or phrase that seems to be asking you to pay attention to it. And when Jesus had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put down into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we toiled all night and took nothing. But at your word, I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a large number of fish and their nets were breaking. They signaled to their other partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees. saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men And when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything and followed him. Go ahead and sit with that word or phrase and ask the Lord to look at it with you. This time, as you listen, listen for an invitation. What is the Lord inviting you to know, to do, or to become? And when Jesus had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we have toiled all night and took nothing. But at your word, I will let down the nets. 
And when they had done this, they enclosed a large number of fish, and their nets were breaking. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. And when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything and followed him. Go ahead and listen for an invitation from the Lord. Time now to respond to the Lord. What is being stirred up in you that you need to bring up and out before the Lord in a prayer? Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for this word that you've spoken in us. We pray that you would water it and cause it to grow in the next few days. Keep bringing our minds and our hearts back to this word. Don't let it slip through our fingers. Teach us to hold on to the word as you send it that it becomes a part of us. It just doesn't, it doesn't go out one ear and out the other, but it literally becomes a part of our soul. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask this. Amen. And now, friends, may you know today that you are being held in the hollow of God's hand. Have a wonderful day, friends.